Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another video. Today we are answering a question from one of the YouTube comments asking me, can, you know, in Photoscape X, can you merge photos, bracket photos, and are you able to stack photos? So that's what we're going to look at today and see if that is possible. So uh, let's begin. We've got just one image here of a dandelion. And we're going to begin with that first question of can you merge photos? Now, there's many ways you can merge photos in Photoscape X. So the answer to the question is yes, but it's how you want to merge them is really the question. So the way that I would show it, if you are a total beginner and want to do this as simply as possible, there are uh, the Combine and the Collage tab in Photoscape X. In the Combine tab, you can just drop your images in, you know, one, two, three, and you can end up with, you know, these uh, images and you can save them out and then it becomes just one group of images. So therefore they are merged together in one final image when you go to save them out. So you can go and save them out. There you go. You got them merged. That's the combined tool. Um, and there's different ways that you can uh, adjust them like vertically, horizontal, or like in a tile formation, something like that. So check that out if you haven't already. Uh, the collage section is neat. Uh, basically, in the collage section, uh, let me see if I can remove these. Basically, you select what kind of pattern you're wanting. There are tons of different patterns. Then you can just drop them in, and then you can kind of cycle between different ones and see what you like. You can even move and adjust some of the images to get them just where you want them to be. So, yes, you can merge those different images together. And if you're looking to do like a YouTube thumbnail or something where it needs to be a specific size, put the two photos in, that's all you need to do, you can do that. And you can also add patterns to the sides and all sorts of fun stuff and adjust how big the things are and everything like that. So that, honestly, could be a really easy way to combine some images together. Uh, but if you wanted to go a more professional or a more customizable route, what you could do is go to the editor tab and you could start to merge the images together. This would be using the insert tab. So there's like the edit tab, color tab, then the insert tab over here, hit insert. You can insert different things, stickers, text, all sorts of stuff. But in the image, uh, just clicking on image here, you can go and you can insert uh, another image into your editor. So then you have one image and then you have a second image and you can add pretty much as many images as you want. So I can add a third image in here. But how do you merge them to make them look really good? Well, for that to happen, most likely you'll need to cut out what you don't want and uh, leave whatever you do want in your final image. Uh, so what I would recommend people doing is actually cutting out just the section that you want to keep in your image. How you do this is going to the cutout tab in the cutout tab. Oh, look, I've actually already done it. I've gone ahead and I've cut out the rows in this image. If you guys want to watch a video of how to use the cutout tool, definitely check it out. Uh, let me back up a little bit to show how it works. Basically, you have like the magic eraser or the brush tool or different things, and you're able to, with it, click on and uh, erase out all the stuff you don't want so you can keep just the stuff that you do want. So I can click over into here. I can remove what I don't want from this image. Just the stuff I don't want. Okay. And let's say I'm actually really happy with this. And for me personally, I would like to get a little bit more of that white edges around there. And I can do that by just going in and making a few more adjustments over here and clicking in here a little bit more. It kind of takes away some of those some of the edges and things. Uh, nonetheless, you get it to the place where you like it, even if you have like the brush tool here, you can erase some of the extra stuff. And looks like there's some extra across here. But you get to where you want it to be, then you can save it, and then you can either insert that photo in, or one thing that's kind of a speedy way to do it is go to Copy to Clipboard. What this does is just like copy and pasting text, you copy it, and it's copying that image uh, that you just worked on and then you're able to paste it right into the image you're working on so you can adjust the size and you can rotate it 
And one thing that's really great in the most recent update of Photoscape X, you now have over here on the image tab uh, that shows up here, you're able to go and adjust a ton of different settings to make it look just like you want it to in this image. So feel free to mess around with that. So you can go and give it a different color tone or a different kind of look. Uh, or you can even give it a little pop or vibrance if you need to, just so you can make it exactly what you want it to be. So it sticks uh, and fits better with the image that you're putting next to it. So um, that's how I would merge different images together. And, you know, in this case, I just cut out a part of that image. You would cut out half of it or some of it. it gives you full flexibility with what you're doing there. And like I said, you can do this for as many times as you want. Just like here, if I wanted to keep that flower right there, take it into the cutout, cut it out, and then I'm able to paste it back in. So that's how I would merge photos together in Photoscape X. To finish the rest of the question, the question about bracketing and stacking photos. Uh, when I looked up bracketing photos, like how do you bracket photos, I'm not 100% sure on what he's referring to. There is a setting on cameras where you're able to look at taking photos where you take a photo that's right in the middle of the exposure, a bit on the lower side of exposure and a bit on the higher side of exposure, and you kind of pick the best one or you kind of blur them together or blend them together. And that's kind of like focus stacking. Nonetheless, um, if you guys have a more technical answer to that, that would be great to know. But let me just explain how I would do it. Let's say I had multiple photos of the exact same photos, but some are lighter, some are darker, but I know they're of the exact same thing. What I could do is I could go to the viewer and I could open that up and I could look at this photo next to the other photo next to the other photo. And I could look at it super close to see which ones are, you know, the right ones. So let's say if these two images were exactly the same, I could go and hit control and I can zoom in on both images looking super closely to see which one is the right image for me to utilize. I can even go over here and put a check mark by the ones that I want to use. So then when I'm back out to just the normal viewer, I can see the one with a check mark. I can see the one that doesn't have a check mark. I can even go in here and just say, hey, only the ones with the check marks I want to see. These are the ones that I've check marked. OK, I'm going to hop in and edit this one. But the other thing to do with focus stacking is if you have multiples of the exact same image or real similar images, just maybe a different kind of look or a different kind of camera setting on the different shots, what you could do is you could insert each of those images in so, so let's say you have this one and let's say you have another one that's just a slightly different in this case i'm going to use the exact same photo just for example here i can hit scale scale to 100 so they're right next to each other right on top of each other what i can do is i can take this first photo that's on top and i can actually make the adjustment to kind of simulate like if i took the photo but in a darker environment okay so you have the darker and you have the lighter photo. If you're wanting to blend them together, however you'd like to do that, you can go to opacity and you can just hit the slide the opacity slider and it will blend those two different objects together. And this could be really helpful if you have an image that looks maybe a lot sharper or you have an image that looks better in different uh, ways. Uh, nonetheless, let me know if you have any other further questions following up that but the big takeaway here is just how to merge images together and how to blend them together. It's really nice to have people asking me these questions because it helps me to dive more into the software to help answer it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.